Hello kids, uh, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Can you please get your spin books and open uh, unit 11? Okay, we will continue doing our words and we will uh, watch our video about the unit starter part. So let's start if you're ready. Okay, as you know, there are some words about transportation, uh, about traveling. That part was your homework. You were gonna write this vocabulary five times in your notebooks and you were uh, gonna uh, search for the meanings, Turkish meanings or synonyms of this vocabulary. I told you what aisle is, aisle is in, in on the bus or in the plane or in, in the taxi. Okay, when you sit window part or this part aisle is between these two parts okay it means corridor like corridor okay uh, i told you what check-in de desk is check-in desk is um when you buy your ticket when you have to con ma uh, make it controlled you go to the check-in desk and coach coach is a bus okay coach means bus means of transport means uh, it means that the the vehicles that you use for transportation okay for example bus train metro uh, plane bicycle motorbike they are all means of transport okay that you are using them to go from somewhere to somewhere and you know metro metro is also known as subway you can also say it's subway motorbike we, we all know motorbike passenger means that for example in the bus there is one driver okay he's taking or she's taking you from somewhere to somewhere and uh, there are some passengers in the bus they are going to the places for example when you get on the bus you're a passenger when you get on a taxi you're a passenger okay and seat seat means that the chair that you sit uh, on the bus on the train or on a plane seat belt means that it's a safety belt uh, you have to put on your safety belt when you uh, when you're in a car or uh, on the plane okay you have to put your seat belt this is very important window seat means that uh, it is a chair next to the window on the bus or in the transportation means of transportation adventurous it comes from an adventure it means that very exciting uh, journey for you and comfortable comfortable is it means that it is good for you 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 feel relaxed frightening it means scary and vendor means to go around to travel for example uh, you want to go to Chanakilo you want to go to Antalya to vendor around to uh, see the different parts of uh, a city or country it means vendor vendor buy the car oh, okay vendor around the car so yes less here we are going to please follow while, while you are uh, reading okay um, we have to practice reading more so in our zoom lessons I will sometimes listen to your reading okay quickly while we are in like we are in the classroom okay I'm doing a project on means of transport can you answer a few questions? Yes, sure. What is your favourite way of travelling? I like travelling by car. Cars aren't as fast as trains, but you can stop wherever you like. Yes, but what about long distances? Well, travelling by plane is faster than travelling by train or car, but it is more expensive too. Do you think trains are as comfortable as planes? Trains are more comfortable than planes. When you travel by plane, you have to sit down during the flight. Passengers can't just wander up and down the aisle. I hate travelling by plane.
What is the easiest way to travel? <laughs> Travelling by globe! <laughs> I agree. It's the cheapest, easiest and most adventurous way to travel. I love it. Me too. I'm doing a project on means of transport. Can you answer a few questions? Yes, sure. What is your favourite way of travelling? I like travelling by car. Um, I like travelling by car. I like travelling. I like travelling. You remember that travelling, travelling. When you when we put ing at the end of a verb, it means gerund. Do you remember? Cars aren't as fast as train. This is comparative. Comparative. As fast as we are comparing two things. We are comparing cars to trains. Cars and trains. We are comparing as fast as. It means that um, uh, uh, arabalar, trenler kadar hızlı değil. Or cars are as fast as trains. Arabalar trenler kadar hızlıdır. This is compare, comparative, okay? Compare. Do you remember? I hope you remember. Yes. But you can stop wherever you like. Yes, but what about long distances? Well, travelling by plane is faster than travelling by train or car. But it is more expensive too. Uh, the, the unit is about comparatives. Do you understand? This is comparatives. Faster than, slower than, more expensive. We know this uh, grammar point, but it is okay uh, repeating, right? Do you think trains are as comfortable as planes? Trains are more comfortable than planes. When you travel by plane, you have to sit down during the flight. Passengers can't just wander up and down the aisle. See, wander. Wander means walk around. Uh, when you are on a plane, you cannot wander, you cannot walk, you cannot go walk around the plane, he says. I'll. I hate travelling by plane. What is the easiest way to travel? <laughs> Travelling by globe! <laughs> I agree. It's the cheapest, easiest and most adventurous way to travel. I love it. Me As you see, we will uh, also see the superlative forms of adjectives. Comparative forms of adjectives and the superlative forms of adjectives. For example, this car is faster than the other car or this car is the fastest of all. Me too. Okay. So let's go. We are going to answer the questions to repeat. Okay. What is Christie's project about? What is Christie's project about? Means of transport. Means of transport mean uh, the vehicles of transportation. It means that car, plane, balloon, terrain, uh, taxi, or sports car, metro. Uh, they are all means of transport. Okay? Number two, why does Mikey prefer traveling by car? Because you can stop wherever you like. Mm -hmm. uh, when you travel by car, if you if you are bored of if you are tired, you can stop and you can have a rest. Uh, it is the advantage of traveling by car. 
what is faster than traveling by train or car? Which one is faster? What do you think? What is faster than traveling by train or car? What is faster than train or car? Traveling by plane? Yes, it is very fast. It is the fastest of all the transportation uh, means of transport. Okay. What can't passengers? Passengers are the people who are uh, on, on the transportation vehicles. What can passengers do during a flight? Do you remember that what I told you? Vendor up. Vendor up means walk. Walk around. Walk around. Walk up and down the aisle. Aisle means the corridor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what does Adam think about traveling by globe? He thinks it's cheap, easy and adventurous. It's the cheapest easiest and most adventurous way to travel they are both accepted okay and yeah let's put the vocabulary into the correct blanks the car is the most common the car is the most common what of transport you learned means of transport type of transport okay this seat is really seat means chair or sofa armchair something like that but on a transportation means of transport so it is really comfortable and i want a seat next to the i want a seat next to the next to the aisle please and number four aisle blah blah around we have to put verb here Vendor or adventures? Which one is the verb? Hmm. Vendor is the verb. Let's put it here. And number five. This book is about the the sorry adventurous life of Christopher Columbus. Adventurous, Magellan. Okay. Let's check. Yay! We all we did all correct. Very nice. Okay. So, again, let's do it. Number one. What is number one? She's the passenger, right? And number two, what is here? What is that? Checking desk. You know that you uh, give your ticket here and they check your ticket if it is true or uh, available valid. okay this is the seat seat belt and number four is motorbike number five the coach means bus please write this and number six is metro okay so do you remember this one okay so this is comparatives and superlatives your homework is please write this please write this in your notebooks your title is comparatives and superlatives to remember to remember you remember you know that we learned all of these this part we learned this in our hour book in reading writing lesson okay please write all of this okay yes thank you very much please don't forget this is your homework okay you have to do this in your notebook and uh, yes let's go back so we did here and we are here so um, I can give you homework on the workbook we need 11 uh -huh. yes L uh, page number 76 page number 76 is your homework okay for this week this is enough uh, I'm sure that you are you will do your homework because you're doing very well uh, I like the way you care the lessons so uh, see you next week okay love you bye